Hi friends, today we're back in Blender and we're gonna create the enemy model for our zombie. This will be quite simple, I think. If you're not that good of a modeler, go watch my video on Blender shortcuts or just go to my Patreon to find a free cheat sheet. I want to start off with something that, I, that we already made, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the FPS arms model. So we can actually use these arms to save some time and now have to create arms for our character in uh, well zombie character so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy the model and then i'm gonna go file new general don't save and then paste it in okay so now we have the fps arms in there let me just enable screencast keys i'll delete this light and delete this uh, camera and also this cube okay so this should be the size of uh, the arms for our character now usually what i like to do is take these kind of two squares uh, of height which is actually two meters in unity as well and I like to use that as the reference for the height but before I actually move the arms up there uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the rig and then move the arms back uh, back up so right around there and I also want to press tab press a to select everything and then rx 90 to kind of bring them back so they're you know normally standing there okay and i'll actually model this separately so i'll go shift a mesh cube and this is in object mode and this is going to be our body so i'm going to press tab s g and z to move it up okay and i also want to use the mirror modifier so i'll go to the modifiers tab here and add a mirror make sure i turn on clipping then i'm going to use Control r to add a loop cut in here i press 3 to go into face select mode select this left face x and vertices and now we have a half of the mesh that's going to get mirrored over okay this shouldn't be too hard uh, a very simple way to do this is just move this a bit down so these are like the shoulders uh, so that's about right and then i'll press a s and y to kind of scale it in because the body is not that thick Next, I'll select this bottom face, press 1 on my numpad, and then I'll extrude once. So this is kind of going to be like the belly button area, and then once again for like the hips, and then once again for the groin area, I guess. Let's do the groin area first, so I'll go uh, into wireframe mode with Z, select these two with C, you know, C select tool, um, and just move them in. So this is kind of going to be... You, you see what I mean. I'm going to take this edge by going to edge select mode here and just kind of move it in. Okay. Uh, also, what you can do is move this kind of out a bit. So press Alt and right click to select it like that. And then you can move these as well a bit forward. So he kind of has a bit of a curve here. Now, if this is too low poly for you, you can, of course, always select it. Press Control B and then use your mouse wheel to increase the size of... Uh, you know vertices but I'm not I'm not gonna do that in order to uh, make legs I'm just gonna select this face right here so we have one in the middle and then we have the legs I'm gonna press E and Z uh, to uh, move it down and so this would be kind of like the uh, knee area so S Z zero to flatten it okay once we have the knee area I'm gonna go ahead and extrude again and this is going to be like the ankle area and then I'm gonna extrude again for the feet and you can see they're not actually flat, they're a bit curved. So I'll take this part uh, by shift right clicking, SY0 to kind of scale it and GY to move it a bit uh, out. Okay, of course, these don't look very well, but we'll be fixing that later. I also want to make a bit of a shoulder, so I'll add a loop cut with Control R right here. And if you go into uh, edit mode here, you can see that we have. Well, if you don't know, how, if you can't count like me, you can go up here, enable statistics, and then just select this loop cut right here, and it will tell you there's eight edges or vertices. So we need eight vertices here to connect it. Currently, we have only four. So I'll just add a loop cut here, and I'll add a loop cut right here. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we can connect it to the arms if we wanted to. Uh, I'll create a shoulder by just selecting these four faces, extruding, and then S to scale. And I want to kind of get the same shape as the arm. So I'll go ahead, select these outer four edges, and then I'll press S and Y to kind of scale it in. And we get a similar shape. We'll be connecting this later on, don't worry about that. <clears throat> For the chest, you can move it a bit uh, outwards like that. 
if you want to and this part move a bit back so now we have a bit of a chest going on okay uh, since we added this loop cut right here we can actually add some detail to the legs so I'll go ahead and select the front three faces and the back three faces and press S and X to kind of scale them in and then uh, I have nice circular uh, legs okay you can also take this middle groin part and just move it up a bit uh, might, might work better let's do some adjustment to the legs of course this is way too thick so I'll go ahead and I'll press in face select mode alt right click to select these and press S and Y and then G and Y to move them a bit uh, forward and then take this one by alt right clicking and G and Y to move it a bit back again so now we get a nice curved shape I also want to add a loop cut down here and then press S and uh, shift Z to kind of scale it in and then I want to create the foot by selecting these three faces pressing E to extrude and moving it to a size where I think it works fine then I'll take these three top edges G and Z to move them down and then I'll add a loop cut in the middle and just kind of play around with it see what what works what doesn't like that and we have a nice foot model I like to always move these uh, up uh, oh, or you know forward and these a bit back so it looks like an actual foot okay for the calves uh, I'll actually add another loop cut and one below it uh, and then I'll take this edge or I can actually take you know the whole face here in the back and just kind of move it in just like that and we have nice calves uh, for the uh, quads I'll add another loop cut and you can just press S and then G and X to kind of move it a bit to the left so it doesn't merge in the middle uh, and you'll have a nice uh, kind of looking leg now I always like to add a loop cut right here and then just take these two edges in the middle and then just kind of move them in because I think like the knee should pop out a bit more and I'll actually move the knee a bit lower by double tapping G and then I'll add the actual knee topology uh, now I think the calf is a bit too low so I'll just take it and press G and Z and then take this as well and press G and Z like that okay and then in order to do it I'll just go to the back delete these three edges by pressing X and dissolve edges to keep the faces and just do this kind of uh, thing there so it has a nice joint like that okay for the butt, since we added this loop cut, you can just take it and move it out a bit if you want to. And maybe this edge needs to go a bit in like that so it looks more circular. That's good. Okay, and of course you can add more detail here uh, by just selecting these two, uh, four edges right here and then just pressing G and X to kind of move them in and round out the shape a bit. Now, I personally, I think this is a bit too muscular for my guy, so I'll just move it in and maybe do the hips a bit larger just like that okay and let's connect the arms in there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, join them together by shift right clicking one or right clicking and then shift right clicking pressing ctrl J to join them together and in order to do this uh, I can just select these four faces right here press X delete the faces and then I'll go into wireframe mode, select these four faces in there. If you don't want to go into wireframe mode, you can press L while hovering over the body and pressing H, and then you can delete these as well. Now what you can do is uh, press Alt H to bring it back, and then just fill these two faces in by selecting them and pressing F. Then you can select this face and keep pressing F while it brings it around. Now you can see that the normals here are a bit fucked up maybe, so A and Shift N to recalculate. And let's fix the shoulder by just kind of scaling it in just like that okay and now we have connected the arms you can kind of move these a bit in so it looks more natural and maybe this one a bit more up again so it looks more natural just like that and maybe drag this one out a bit like that it makes it look more like a shoulder in order to make the neck, I'm just going to go here, press Shift A to add a, or sorry, Control A to add a loop cut, and then I'll have the neck in here. So I'll just extrude up, G X to move it in. Oh, sorry, for some reason I don't know why I did this, but remove the armature and turn on clipping, just like that. S and Y to bring it in, 
and then double tap G to kind of slide this back up and the neck doesn't look too good at the moment so you can add another loop cut in there to kind of scale it in by pressing G and Y and maybe this part and this part as well so you get a nicer neck going for the head I'll actually go ahead and um, go into object mode press shift a mesh add a cube I'll go into edit mode scale it place it where I want it and then I'll add a subdivision surface modifier and you can see this looks kind of like a head but we're gonna fix it I'm gonna add a loop cut in the middle by pressing ctrl R deleting these vertices and adding a mirror modifier turning on clipping and then I can just G and X to kind of make it smaller and then uh, use this well add a loop cut and then use this part to kind of get a nice going shape so this part goes in this goes there this kind of goes down and a bit out and this part goes forward and you can actually scale this on the y-axis a bit these two faces and you get a nice looking head that's gonna work for this I guess uh, you can apply uh, the subdivision and then join these two together and in order to uh, you know have these connected uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take these four uh, you know faces press F3 right type in bridge edge loops and now you'll have a nice looking neck well it doesn't look nice yet but you can drag this down and this part out by double tapping G and this part right around there and just kind of fix it up a bit I know it's a lot of work but you got to do what you got to do I also like to go to the knee area and just kind of bring it out a bit so it looks more natural um, I think the arms are a bit too big and that's fine so I'll just take uh, this part after the elbow or with the elbow move it in and then part after the elbow and just kind of bring it a bit in uh, they're still a bit too big but it's zombies who gives a fuck oh one more thing uh, you can move this part in the back a bit in just like that I think it looks that looks a lot better and move this part a bit out I think that looks quite nice maybe these parts uh, you can bring down as well as this one and that will be about it you can also add a loop cut under the boob to kind of exaggerate it a bit and then bring this out a bit so he's a bit fatter and you can as well take these uh, two edges or uh, six and then uh, move them in a bit so it looks more circular same thing with the boob just kind of bring it in and the back as well so you get a more circular shape just like that I think his body is a bit too big so I'll go ahead select everything uh, above the knee to the hip and just kind of move it up just like that and I think his legs are a bit too thick so I'll go ahead and make them a bit uh, thinner uh, or his feet uh, in particular just kind of move it in just like that uh, that looks a lot better and this part I'll just S shift Z to kind of bring it in good so yeah this is the modeling part next time we'll be uh, texturing the guy and after that we'll be rigging him hopefully you learn something new I know I'll go quite fast but uh, you can always slow down the video or watch it a million times okay now bye bye